Part 19, A Dogman's Intimidation Tactics. A dogman uses intimidation tactics to frighten witnesses. And this must be stated in the backdrop of dog men becoming more aggressive as we encroach on their territory and use up their food supply. In episode 116 of Dogman Encounters, the witness declared that a dogman, in his view, took an aggressive posture in a three-point stance like a football player about to move forward, but didn't actually charge. Second, they will go from all fours to twos as they approach in order to appear larger than they really are. Third, when they are set on convincing a farmer to leave a particular area, the dogmen will attack and slash at farm animals, not necessarily killing them. And in one instance I've heard Tied up domestic animals were found ripped up hot a day after a sighting. Fourth, they can bear their teeth in a don't mess with me fashion. Fifth, they tap on the windows of people in their territory incessantly during the night, their fingers sounding like heavy nails or railroad spikes. And in one instance, I heard that the dog man actually licked the window the owner of the house came to and looked as if it was craving hunger. And in another, it pressed its nose up against a screen and dragged it back and forth, trying to coax the person inside to look. If you're a woman alone in your house... I've heard of occasions where a dog man scratches windows when only the females are around. Sixth, they also bump or hit dwellings, then move very quickly past windows so they can't be seen, sometimes hitting the house with such force it shakes it, or also throwing rocks at the house. Seventh, Dog men have been known to climb trees to look into second story windows or to arrive on roofs. Eighth, once I heard of a dog man damaging an old car on a farm to send a message to the farmer's family. If they didn't leave, things would escalate. Ninth, it seems to delight in scaring people, throwing its weight around even a seeming to feed on human fear and goes out of his way to scare people. Tenth, when faced by an angry dog, it doesn't flinch, despite the dog's fierce aggression as a means of intimidating the dog. But usually dogs cower when a dog man is around or get quiet when it howls. In fact, a large pit bull was found in a state of shock, hiding under its owner's bed in a house where its owner was mutilated by something quite large, ostensibly a grizzly, but with canine DNA. Eleventh, well, how about a dogman that dug up an owner's buried dog and dragged it to the owner's doorstep? Twelfth, According to Dogman Encounters episode 135, even bears run away when dogmen are around. Thirteenth, it gives the impression that humans are just a food source, being weak, so can do nothing. Fourteenth, I heard of an instance where the lights went out in a family's house and a girl was feeling her way around trying to make her way out of her room when a dog man who unbeknownst to her was quietly lurking in her room grabbed her hand in the dark and let her go only when she screamed. 15. Speaking of grabbing on someone, a dog man grabbed a dirt biker's leg just enough to scare him when he was riding his bike on a trail. 16. It hangs around houses when people aren't home, trying to figure out how to intimidate them. 17. 
In one example, a person went into a dogman territory and took dogman teeth found on the ground. And after assessing out the situation, one of the dogmen pack followed him home and intimidated him into returning the teeth. 18. In a more dynamic intimidation recount, a dogman intentionally ran onto a highway and hit the side panel of a truck, causing it to fishtail. And in another, it flat out sprinted at cars. Or how about when it leaps in front of cars, stops and stares, or even violently shakes a car with the occupant still inside? In some instances, it makes near misses with driving cars, attempting to intimidate the driver, or, in one instance, a dogman set out in the middle of the road, got erect, and puffed out his chest. Nineteenth. In one case it left claw marks on a barn four inches deep, or in another on a house five feet above the ground, as well as claw marks on a car. Twentieth. And speaking of being spooky, a dog man left a freshly killed possum near a house in anticipation of the owners coming back from a camping trip as if it knew they were returning home that day. 21st. Many witnesses have stated that when it locks eyes with you, it seems to pull the essence out of your soul, which is extremely intimidating. 22nd. Another characteristic is that it makes bluff charges, which is typical of many animals. 23rd. In a forest, it makes enough noise to let a person know it's there, causing this person to run, like stamping around just out of sight. 24th, to demonstrate its insidiousness, it will observe people taking care of cats and choose one to kill and leave the remains. On one chilly occasion, a woman saw her cat in the jaws of a dogman, staring back at her through her window. Or it places a dead cat in an area where the owner would see it, or even throws cats against the house once the cat has been dispatched. 25th. In many cases, it scares hunters off of their deer stands. 26th. It might snap its teeth at you. 27th, it has been known to step under a street light to be seen. 28th, in one case in an RV park, a dogman terrorized the occupants by running through, knocking the things over, and kept going. 29th, in the water, it has been said they swim at boats. 30th, one of the most nightmarish things I've heard of is when it touches sleeping children. 31st, it also tries opening doors or tries to push up a window. And finally, when it spots humans, it turns its head to offer a side view to demonstrate its snouting teeth, something a lion often does. <laughs>